Today we're going to look at replacing an old Pushmatic breaker with a new aftermarket replacement. So we're going to replace an old Pushmatic breaker. This one's failed here. I'm just going to double check and make sure that I got the right one and that the voltage is still not coming through the breaker. Okay. That one's a good one. That's our bad one. That's a good one. Okay. Actually, let me try something here. So this is our bad one. And then if I shake it, it actually comes off and on. So there's like a loose terminal connection inside that breaker. So all right. So. Just disconnect the hot conductor here. On these, I gotta be careful. I like the newer panels where the busing is a little bit more internal. But that's the actual busing right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit more exposed on these panels, so. And these are like a bolt-on. So I gotta go unscrew the breaker from the busing terminal. Keep an eye on that screw that fell. Pull the breaker here. So on the old Pushmatics, you can see that, but there's these little tabs here on the back, and they kind of hook into the uh, panel on the side here. But the busing is there on the side, so. So this breaker is an aftermarket breaker. It's a direct replacement and should just slide right in there. Screw here. Screw the breaker to the bussing. Alright, make sure the breaker's off. The screw is bottomed out to the bussing. And I'm going to reconnect our conductor. Good. Turn that guy on. Check the voltage here. There's our 120. So that's neutral. That's the ground to the output of the breaker, the load side of the, the breaker. So that's the load side, and this is the breaker to the neutral and we got 116 there so we're good let me just run inside and just make sure that the original problem has been fixed but that's uh, replacing a pushmatic breaker